Good morning. In this video, I'll talk about how to apply event study in Excel. Before going through this video, kindly go to first part of playlist which is related with introduction part of event study. So let's discuss. We required some informations in order to apply event study and these are period, date, stock price, market price, stock return, market return, normal return, abnormal return, T statistics of abnormal return, window, cumulative abnormal return, number of days required for T statistics and finally T statistics of cumulative abnormal return. In this example, I am going to examine the impact of dividend announcement in a particular company. Hence, zero will be our event date which is uh, included in this period and uh, denoted as zero. So, this zero is nothing but uh, our event day. It means in this particular date, the announcement of dividend was made. Similarly, if I talk about event window or window period, this is minus 40 and plus 40. It means minus 40 refers here pre 40 days of event and plus 40 refers to post 40 days of event. Zero is included in between minus 40 and plus 40. Hence, the total period will be 81 days included in window period. Similarly, if I talk about window estimation, this is of 200 days. And this window estimation is required in order to calculate stock return, market return and others. That's why I subtract minus 40 from 240 because the information is provided of 240 days of entire stock price and market price. Similarly, this date is nothing but the stock price and market price of uh, different timing then a stock price is of uh, individual companies stock price similarly market price here refers to market index or we can say that is sensex used here now let's calculate a stock return so simply i write here equal to ln and then today price of a stock upon a study price and then enter. Now this stock return has been calculated of minus 240 days. So if I double click here, I have found all period of a stock return. If you see, you will find all the periods have a stock return now. Similarly, we can calculate for the market return. So equal to LN and then today, today price of market index upon study of market index and then enter. So again, market return has been also calculated on the basis of this market price. And if I double click, we have found all the period have now market return. In order to calculate normal return, we require slope, it means beta value and intercept value. So now the question is how to calculate beta and how to calculate intercept. So simply Simply I uh, just uh, put here double equal to then uh, 
uh, slope and then stock return of stock return of all the window estimation our window estimation is 200 days so I included here up to minus 41 it means up to minus 41 equal to 200 days which is required to calculate beta and alpha then comma and again selected the value of market return up to this uh, 200 estimation period which is remained up to minus 41 and then enter so if you see the value we have found the value of beta how it has been calculated the formula is simply equal to slope then select all the est window estimation period of stock return comma select all the window estimation period of market return and then equal to now i have found the value of beta in next step how to calculate alpha so simply equal then intercept and select a stock return of entire window estimation period comma and select market return of window estimation period and enter now we have found the value of intercept on the basis of this beta and intercept we will be calculating normal return and further procedure in next video thank you very much